Tilts on sand as the tide thralls you in. Leading must be wrought off the fullness of your yearning yoke. Will it be so? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That'll be decisive and... and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Magus can't... No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? Shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. How is she connected with my soreness? <laughs> she rode your back all the way down the caves to Goldie's place. Really? That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Regiments, while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? Great, Cocoon Boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. 
Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Let's do this. Time to save Nikki. Peter. Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Better pray the new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill them for flarking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. Scott! Puzzle's <laughs> tower's shut down. And that's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess of the store in here. Kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, I don't know, Rocket. Like Gamora said, everybody wants something. The church tailors their offer to the individual. Seems to me most of them would give in. Or they'd be killed. Not an easy choice. Got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hell's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun. Hey, check it out. We got bad guys. Smoke the rocket! Markers, get ready to die! Do not fear death. Don't mean we can't hurt them first. <laughs> if only they knew the truth! Save some of them! No, Pete! 
pictures, please! More batteries the deeper we go. 100 units says they're tied to the fulfillment. Priest said that they were bringing... They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. Over here! Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. Hey! Peter! Well, that didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. There's no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlo's. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. Don't leave me hanging. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. There has been no sign of Goldie Braun since he leapt from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. Warlock's stronger than any of us. And he's got a pretty good reason to hate your lies ahead. Let's get ready. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of goose. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Maybe Raker's trying to reanimate the Celestial Head, bring it back to life? Perhaps he wishes to turn it into a ship. Bah, this thing's deader than dead. It ain't coming back and it ain't jumping through no hyperspace. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flarkin family? She's not garbage. Behold the power of the light! Fire Magnati! Keep it! 
You good? Never better. Yep, definitely not good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? Some more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flogged up church. Of course not. Just just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos! It's about Nikki and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me, my sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe. Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. By me. killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... I kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did. You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I could take. We accept you, Gamora Zenubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nutjob cult leader. Yes! Make 
making short work of these cultist creeps. Clark! Well, <laughs> it's got through! been eager to topple something over. You know, I usually hated when that Cosmo spotlight would shine down on me, but now I kind of miss it. Really? A fake force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get a look in there. That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. Guardians of the galaxy. The matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. Then you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise, but you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Oops.
his face. It was all like, oh, my gilded glutes. Regal rear. His perfect posterior. His... Look out! Come on. 
they call me? The full blockman! That was not the name! I guess Goldie survived that jump! Did you see Raker's face when he showed up? We approach the Dark Tower! Hold on, Nikki! We're coming! Nikki! my friends, unless they send reinforcements. If they do, we'll have to move like lightning. Hit them from behind. But what if they're too fast? We'll need another plan. Hey, hey, hey! Every battle comes with some kind of curveball. Trying to predict where it's gonna land only makes things worse. Relax. It's easy to overthink when things get tense, but if we focus... We can hit him hard. Who's with me? Wise words, Peter Quill! We are! Finally! I think they're giving up. Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge. I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh, right below us. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's one way down. The best way. <sighs> <sighs> We need to be on the other side of this thing. Ba 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 boom, baby! You sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Look, they're still at it. At least our guy seems to be winning. This one. I ain't seeing no hatch or nothing. Hey, Quill, try your visor. You gonna make us a bridge or what? Oh, you gotta be flarking kidding me. Always knew nowhere would get raided, but not like this. Part of the floor looks weak. Good thing we got old big boots. It is not the size of the boot, but the might of the one who wields it. Don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Are you kidding? After the fit you threw last time? The same like the last time. You all... I trust you guys. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that wasn't wrong. You are a valued member of this team. How many tools have been thrown about? Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. So will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. He will regret it. How dumb are these Flarknards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too. That endless hunger. Oh yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! 
count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. Get the edge! Oh, where? The beast is being exposed to the promise. No! These belligerents do not stand a chance. Gamora! Cut that! Caution! Feels like I've been shooting that big bot for hours! Things will come! We need to really pile it on! Nobody kicks the dog on my watch! This is an historic battle! The last stand of nowhere! Something tells me we got more scraps ahead! What are you doing? He's one of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so was Drax. And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... <laughs> Take him out before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Ah, uh, oh, fark it. Just shoot the mutts. Bad dog. Damn it, Cosmo. Who called Cosmo? Joseph. It's us, Dog Breath, Guardian of Galaxies. Strange. Cosmo smell old friend. But the real Gilder Quill would never bark at Cosmo. Oh, you didn't leave me much of a choice. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky and cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma, how you see? Home. 
He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden, just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not a time that matter. Same reason Katathia, not go home. Earth was great. Cats to chase, trees to be on. But the point is... I get it. We all get homesick. But you gotta bury that bone and move on. Pyotr Quill does not know what he asks. He's like fleas, biting and biting, no matter how much Cosmo scratch. Oh, you Terrans have a real thing for your home planet. What's one hunk of rock over another? He's not about rock. He's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. I lost my family too. My mom died right in front of me when I was just a kid. Then Piotr Quill should know. Cosmo would work like a dog to his family leg. If they are part of this promise, these humans are most assuredly dead. Do not be swayed by the bribe of the return as I was. Promise is only empty until fulfillment be. Perhaps it's Katatia who lost hope too quickly. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Yet. It's too late for old dog to learn new trick. Mother child will honor promise, and cousin will be best boy. Fine! We'll stop them ourselves. This Cosmo cannot allow. We'll induce coma until fulfillment of promise be. Wait, what? It's for best. You are, how you say, in dog house. No, hold on! Your precious promise can't be fulfilled without this. What is? What is it? I want it. Want it? Ready? Go get it, boy! I can't believe that worked. It won't for long. Let's get out of here before he comes back. The way the church spreads their faith tech. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. Attacking scratch snackers. Gah! Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We picked up a job from a Signog at Mantlos while you were off looking for the mud. What job? The less you know, the better. The flark was that? An earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. The ritual must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we can even stop something this power? Eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Raker said Nikki chose nowhere for the ritual, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time letting that one go. But that means Magus chose it. Probably because of the Cortex and how it can provide instant access to all believers everywhere. Yuck. I am so done with brains and the Universal Church of Crap. Let's tear through them. Raker's not gonna wait for us. He knows we are here. We'll attempt to start the ritual early. It is best to avoid the levitating pods, Peter Quill! This is a sight of power! A fine place for a funny guy! Let him have it, Drax! This is so close! 
Cranial matter has an impressive speed! security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to slug. Gray lung, they call it. Drax, a little help, Evo. Readily. Drax, over here, hurry. I move as swiftly as is necessary. Well, you know I was just messing with you. What's that? There ain't no such thing as gray lung. <sighs> <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, you so fell for it. Gray lung. <gasps> Careful, this place is practically falling apart. Could be all of nowhere, looks like. Whoa! Tremors have intensified. That's one way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Oh, what have they done to you? You, uh, okay, Rocket? No, I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere. What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. This isn't the first time someone's tried to take over nowhere, and it won't be the last. As long as we stop the church, all the old no-goodniks will be back in no time. You know, the good kind of no-goodniks. I hope you're right. Thanks, Quill. hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the Cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. This is the Flarkin Continuum Cortex. The Cortex isn't the problem here. It's the Flarknards who've hijacked it. We take them down, and the Cortex is just a machine with nobody at the wheel. You know there is a wheel. I, I saw no wheel. There ain't no wheel, but I don't like the idea of just leaving that thing powered up with Kurt Scott. We should focus on them fainting. Here they come! A lot of them! Soon to be one less! Tell! Oh. Ugly scars! Ah! 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 Ah!
Guys, huddle up! Yes! Celebrate this moment, my friends! Victory shall soon be ours! We shall carve our name in the history books, Peter Quill, and it will not be spelled incorrectly! Look, I know we want to celebrate because we're maybe two steps away from winning this fight. But if we start dancing before we actually win, these scut holes will send us to our graves. So let's keep our focus and show these losers exactly how we rock. Who's with me? Die, thieves! Nice one, Peter! We can't keep getting pulled into skirmishes! Like we have any choice. They shoot, we shoot. <laughs> 